Some go bald, others go gray. Got a trail to follow. Wonder where it leads. Smashed bones. That takes strength. No point in trying to parry its blows. sharpened its claws, or just marked off its territory. Thin and deep cuts, not unlike a razor. Aggression. Male. Very old. Damn it. Probably marked one of the villagers. Didn't have many friends, did he? Folk aren't willing to look at this kind of death today. But in the past, I remember. I was just a lad. Lugos Herlip led a raid on our village. Found nothing but silence and fog. I could barely make out my pa and my uncles, lying in wait behind the trees. I remember how they hunted down one warrior after another. And once they surrounded Harelip himself, well, I believe he'd rather have faced the woodland spirit. Your spirit is a very old Leshen. He's dangerous, but I should be able to deal with him. Rid us of him? Yet he's what made us invincible? Turned us into great warriors? Maybe I wasn't clear. The woodland spirit is a monster. 
cut with the sword, he'll bleed and die. Like you, like me. He's much more. Thanks to him, the woods team with game, and our women bear strong babes. The power of the woodland spirit makes us the best hunters in the isles. True, not every lad who sets out to be a hunter survives the sacred ritual. But aren't witchers made at similar cost? Back by the tree, you said you know another way to stop the lesion. We must return to the old path, restore the old ways, roam the woods with knife and spear, fight on even terms and prove our valor. That would please him. Our ancestors placed the Covenant Stone in the woods, laid sacrifices of prized game on it, and thus made a pact, do as they did. Go south along the brook, Submit to the trial by burning a sacrifice of wolves' hearts on the sacred spot. Haven't decided what to do yet. Try to kill the woodland spirit, and you'll bring his wrath upon us all. Gotta give this some thought. So long. You all dressed up for me, Hildy. Went to look at the tracks in the woods. Spirit sure knows how to make an impression on intruders. Told you, he likes killing. Almost certain we're dealing with an old lesion. An ordinary beast, then. Just as I said. Not so ordinary. Monster like that's a serious threat to the village. And to me, if you decide to hire me. Oh, don't you fret. We'll have the gold. Just one small problem. The Leshen's marked one of you. As long as that individual lives near its domain, the beast can't be killed. Not completely. Sooner or later, it'll be reborn. Must be one of the elders. Harold! I'm sure of it! You heard him! Words aren't enough. Gotta find the mark my way. <sighs> Folk won't believe you. They'd never listen to an outsider accusing one of their own. But you find the marked one, and I'll handle the rest. Gotta use my senses. Find the one marked by the woodland spirit. Whoa, what a sword. Will Sven visit today? The Leshen's chosen the girl. Damn it. Still a stain on the sleeve, look at. Not scrubbing hard enough. Hmm? I'll scrub the plying my fight. Ah! Oh, where bear fight? Friend of yours. See if you're ever coming for me. Bad death. Swaddle all living creatures in your protective embrace. I shall name evil wherever I find it, and give ah. our foes no rest. Did you sever his head? Yeah. Your rocks never crumble. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, leshens, or giants around? So, find out who's mates with the beast? It's not intentional. The marked individual has no idea. You don't know the elders like I do. Every last one of them codgers would surrender his mother to please the monster. And no point in mincing words. Said yourself, the monster's helper must die first. If you want me to kill the Leshen, you gotta get rid of the Marked One. Do you hear the Witcher, people? If we wanna live, we gotta slaughter the Elders! No mercy! Never said the Beast marked one of the Elders. Who then? The woman you were talking to, Hilda. Kill the Witch! Hilda? But she's one of us! No mercy, Sven! 
We all heard you. Take her. Thought you liked the girl. I did what I had to do. Your turn. search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Can you toss an axe? Maybe rubber can? Drink last night, too. The Leshen accepted my offering. I saw the smoke rise and crows dance in the sky. Everything will return to the old ways. You'll see in a few days. I've done my part. Expecting coin, eh? 
Don't fret. I've got your gold. Take it. You've earned every last bit. You do know young boys will continue to die at the Covenant Stone trying to become hunters. The killing will never end. I've not paid you to lecture me. You've done your job. It's time you left. Well, well, Harold. Paying the Witcher behind our backs to sod off and let the monster live? We finished off the other elders. Just one left. <laughs> Death's but another stage in the cycle. I embrace it. Be gone, Witcher, and you can keep your coin. Think murder will change something? You've done your part. Got your coin. What are you waiting for? No monsters left around here. I won't let you kill him. The Witcher first. Get him! the key to finding a young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's fortress of Kaer Morin. Be a corpse if not for you. Can see from afar your own passion. Tis true what my gran said. Oh, no yeah. monster can get well, the better of my dad's off fighting the blood come and gone. My prayers are in bed, anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. Aye, I am. Look, see it lying there? A horse head on the pole? That's... A nithing. Kind of curse, seen this before. There's nothing to scoff at, can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, 
and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Boy's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm -hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lulio's fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Hmm. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. You're not that scary. Like it here. Like it here. Oh, beg your pardon. May I Let our Kalmar. Greetings. Greetings. See you. Fare thee well. Finder in the bay, got it like a herring. Crabs and crayfish had had quite the feast. All because she ran around with that bandit. They light lanterns on the rocks, then they direct the ships. Get back to your affairs! Stop your hollering! Arr. you need any chance you know who wore this shawl of course yona our herbalist lives there in that hut oh she'll be pleased you found it for her yeah real pleased can you stay long will your last sail on the yarl's longboat you trusted me or see you pot papers Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Must be Zaracadian. Uh... 
slow now. Whoa. You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay, never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. Truth to that bladder by the ice giant. J O N N A. May it be quick and painless. It is true what they say. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he'd died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. There's truth to that bladder by the ice gem. Faster. be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. 
Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I see something wrong. You must forgive the Jarl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Kroch's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it were yesterday. Off the bell of the near ground. his head? Head of a jail with your mind. Pendle watches over the land, we are set. The blood of kings. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller. Hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They live toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. I could have married a continental man. And out she's here for the fish. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken, but village is brimming with lovely girls. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though... There is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true. And she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is. And her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching.
mutabra! Swarming like gulls around the waist tape. Bye, be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils. But that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Where's Ceres? Tell me. She asked about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell.